Okay, folks, listen, you done read the title, you know we're doing a 15 bean sausage chili, right? Super simple. I'm gonna get right into this video. So look, I want you guys to just pay attention. And don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website, smoking the grilling with AB.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, you know we gotta brown this meat, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, let's get a fire underneath this right here. I'm gonna start with that medium flame. Let's get a little heat, right? Now, when I'm doing my mild, uh, mild Italian sauces, it's up to you guys. You guys want just to have a kick, you can go ahead and use that hot. You know what I mean? But we do have some chili flakes right here, right? And that smoked paprika. These right here, together, I'm telling you, that's just a nice blend with just a nice little heat, you know, with a little hint of heat, right? So let me go ahead and grab my infused olive oil. This is uh, still scallion, you guys. Now, would it be in the holiday? You know what I mean? Uh, we want to like level up everything we do. We're going to have guests and all of that. So listen, if you're able, get yourself some uh, infused olive oil. Or if you know how to make it, you can make it yourself. But this is how we're going to turn out and have the, you know, the right blend of flavor for the holiday. All right, so look, I meant to say something to you about the beans, you know. So listen, these were soaked. You know, I started soaking these yesterday just so that they'd be ready for, you know, myself today. You can see them little bubbles coming off of there. That's that. That's what get inside your stomach. You know, I'm going to give you that uh, that musical fruit type of uh, sound, right? So listen, this is what softened it up. Let me clean these. Meanwhile, I'm bringing this up to temp. Matter of fact, it's up and ready to go right now. So what I'm going to do is, you guys saw me put a little, a little, you know, infused olive oil down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and put this at the bottom. Now, being in the kitchen is all about multitasking, right? So we got the 15 beans inside of here, right? So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you guys can use a colander. I'm just doing it old school, you know what I mean? I promise you, my grandmama wasn't using all of that. she get in there and work with her hands, right? So I'm just getting off any impurities or anything that, you know, that came in there that made my water dirty or whatever. I like to see clear water. Now, I get in here with my meat masher. You know, this is like ceramic over cast iron, right? I don't have to worry about this, you know, scratching of anything. And I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Man, there were so many people that sent them out. I got them at home. I've given some away. You know what I mean? And I still keep about three here, right? So I just wanted to break that up. And then what I'm gonna do is just get this back in here. And what we wanna do is just brown our, you know, our meat. All right, so now, look, I'm gonna cut my, you know, my bell peppers. Again, when you're cooking, it's really multitasking and having everything at the ready, right? So that's why I have things measured out. Like we got four cups, probably gonna take five. You know what I mean? So I got a little bit more here. Our beans are ready. And then we got all our ingredients that's gonna go inside of the, you know, the mild Italian sausage, right? So let me go ahead and cut these down. I'll show you how I'm gonna cut these. Now you see, I did these not so small, so this is in between a large dice and a small dice, right? And again, you guys know that when we dice large, that's really for the texture. We dice small, that's for the, you know, for the flavor. Right, so I get them kind of like all different sizes. All right, so we all diced down right there. I want you guys to look inside this pot right here. Look at that right there. Pink really going away. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, prep my, my fresh basil. Once I'm done with that, then it gets like a little bit on that little dump and go type of thing. All right, so now at this phase right here, we just start adding, right? Now, we already know where to find the recipe, all the ingredients that I'm using. You know where all that's at. It's on the website, smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's w i t a b.com. Right? So now, I'm going to go ahead and load up my press. You know, and I'm going to put my minced garlic right here on top. All right, so you see everything is in the inside. Now we're going to cook this together and let that heat release garlic and the rest of our dry herbs and that fresh basil. Now you guys can see how we build in that, them layers of flavor, right? And I'm gonna say this too, let me know down in the comment section below, how many of y'all are really cooking with 15 beans? You know what I mean? Uh, more than likely you probably was out, you know what I mean? Uh, once I got really turned onto it, and this was after my grandmama, you know what I mean? I keep this in my pantry, right? Now I'm gonna come with that, that fresh basil, folks. I know you guys wanna know why I'm talking like that, you know, when it comes to the basil, because I think basil is so underrated. Everybody think, every, you know, it has to be Italian. You know what I mean? Great flavor. Marries with just about, well, it marries with about 80% of everything that we normally cook with anyway. You know what I mean? So, I'm just a fan of it. All right, so look at this right here and talk to me. You see that? That's the grease that everything was released from 
you know, the Italian sausage. Don't forget, we put a little scallion infused olive oil in there. Now we got everything and look at that color. Now I got a little bit of a level up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, the level up is coming right after this. We're gonna drop the onions in, right? Notice how small the onion is. You guys know, talk to me. You know, we putting that flavor in there, right? And it's gonna cook a little bit too, right? Remember, I like to start them off, give them a little love first, because it takes a little bit longer, in my opinion, to break down, right? But look, look at how the white of the onion, see how it turned colors? You want to talk about putting them layers of uh, flavor on there? Look. Oh yeah, we making a chili, right? Yes, sir. Now, after one minute head start with them onions, in goes the red bell peppers. Now, talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me what would you do ad-wise, you know, to this right here. But I ain't gonna lie to you, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, making these chilies and look at this right here, this makes for a nice burrito, folks. All right, so look, this part right here is completely optional. You know why? Because when we look inside of here, when I move it back, you see that color? I usually get that from my andouille, but I love andouille sausage. You know what I mean? And to let you guys know, this one here, this is a chicken andouille sausage, right? So those of you guys that are staying away from pork, this is great, you know what I mean? But we went with the Italian sausage, so that was all pork. You know what I mean? So we gotta figure it out, but I love the flavor. Now I split this open right now so you guys can see. I normally get my flavor from the inside of my andouille, but I can tell you this chicken right here is fire, folks. Just in case you wanna substitute, you know, you might wanna substitute your, your pork Maybe you want to do a, you can do what you can do use ground beef as long as we season it, right? Or we can do what? That's right, we can do turkey. Now, I got this cut down like this. Now we finna, as my grandfather would say, look at yondo. Put a little heat under there. All right, so if you come in here, I know I keep asking you guys to look in this pot. This is where the real is at. You guys can just see all of the flavor, right? So now, I want you to pay attention. You know what I mean? Most people can get hunched, you know, everywhere, right? We'll just start with these crushed tomatoes. Look at that right there. Remember, having the right tool for the right job, you want to get everything in here. This ain't a ketchup bottle. We don't want to put no water in here. We don't want to make it like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get, get it all out. So, now would be a great time for us to turn this up some. You know what I mean? Let's get back to that medium, right? Because we need to heat all of this up. Actually, I'm gonna go with a medium high. In between, you know why? Because we don't want nothing sticking on the bottom. But you see that right there? You see how this chili is coming together? So you see that right there? Now we coming back up to a boil, right? That's cool. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add our beans to it. Now we can go ahead and talk about this too, because everybody say chilies don't have beans. I guess it really depends on where you come from. I used to think Texas always said no beans in a chili, right? But I'ma say, I almost said I'ma call something, but that's not true, because I get people from Texas telling me, man, we put beans in there, or at least that's what they do. So you know what? This is really up to you folks. You know what I mean? So look at that right there. I got it. It might not be the chili that you guys are used to, you know what I mean? But this right here is gonna be fire. Yeah. Now, once I got this all mixed in, which doesn't really matter how I do it, then I start adding in my chicken broth, or if you guys have it, stop. Now look at that right there. Now we finna kick this up. And we gonna go with a with a high flame now, just to get everything back to a boil. All right, so what you just saw is, I just added that extra cup. I like mine to be loose, you know why? Because at the end, after it's been cooking for about an hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna go hour and a half on this one. You know what I mean? After it's been going that long, if it's, if it's too much liquid in the inside, I just take my top off and I let it just, let some of it evaporate out of there. And here's another pro tip. You guys notice that I use chicken stock or you guys can use chicken broth, right? You do not want to use water. You can use water, but if you're trying to build real flavor, you always want to use something like flavor, flavorized, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this because this is gonna be key. I'm gonna bring my salt and pepper over here. 
right? Let's just go ahead and get us a little bit, just so that we can taste it, right? Don't ruin your wheat by letting this, you know, burn your tongue, right? So let this cool taste it. And then if we need to add some pepper to it or salt, we can. Hmm, actually, it's pretty much spot on. It can use just about two pinches of salt, and that's it. If anybody else need any salt, they can add it. Now, you guys have seen me put no pepper, and if you've been following me for a minute, you know I put pepper in everything. So I'm getting ready to twist, folks. Now we have it set for a simmer. We're gonna go an hour and a half. Now I'm gonna check this about every 20 minutes at a simmer, right? Because I do not want anything to stick on the bottom, right? So we just move this across like that, and then we put that top back on it. I'll see you guys in an hour and a half. Now will be a great time to talk about today's sponsor. All right, folks, the holidays are here, and I've got some exclusive bundles just for you. Perfect for any cook in your life or even just for yourself. I got a bundle for you. I'm talking limited time bundles like my three cookbook bundle, which includes my barbecue outdoor cookbook, taking the mystery out of cooking, and the best of both worlds with my nephew, Matt, AKA Mr. Make It Happen. Then there's the s &G bundle, which is bundle number two, which includes the taking the mystery out of cooking cookbook, an apron, and a high quality food thermometer. Now for my barbecue lovers, which is bundle number three, I got you covered with a full barbecue bundle. Listen, it comes with an apron, a food thermometer, cookbook, two barbecue sauces, and a burger press to level up any cookout. And for those that want something a little bit more on the classic side, right? I've got a denim apron and a thermometer, which is a food thermometer, and that'll be bundle number four. So check it out. These bundles won't last long. So hurry up, grab yours, and make this holiday season fire. I'm out. Okay, folks, look, it's been about an hour and a half. Ain't no about. It's been an hour and a half. I've been fumbling around, getting everything ready, chopped up a few chives. But I want you guys to look at this right here. I got it. We always use cornbread, but you see that right there? Today, we finna do red. This is a tribute to my G-Pop right here. Hey, just as much as he loved cornbread, he loved that Ritz and them saltines. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Now, for some of you guys that already know, you can cook this as long as you would like. You just want to make sure that your liquid doesn't, you know, evaporate, right? So you can always just add some more chicken stock or whatever you would like to put in there as far as some flavor. I just don't add water to it. But you see this right here? I love it just the way you see it, folks. So now is that time to go ahead. Look at the thickness of that right there. You see that right there? Ooh wee. I'm going to bring this down there so you guys can see it. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. All right, folks, look, come on in here, take a look at that. That right there is probably the picture that brought you in here to look at this. You know what I mean? This is a super over the top, you know what I mean? It don't always have to have the chili powder, you know what I mean? Uh, and all of that cumin and all of that. This right here is a perfect blend and it, it smells and tastes, you know, chili, right? So listen, I'm not finna over talk nothing. I'm finna get in here and just get me, get me some right now. I don't know, you guys might like to have a, uh, sour cream in there you know what i mean do that do yours how you want to do it i put a mexican blend cheese on you know what let me not over talk it cheers y'all this is right here fire Whew, i can't wait to sit down and, you know and get me my bowl so i can do me now i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what would you do Right, I'm not finna wrap this up no way out way. I'm just gonna say, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, check it out. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do? Sit down, but instead of great Kool-Aid, we finna get down with that tropical punch. I'm out, peace.